All hey right. there, Crystal Covington here with Women of Denver. I'm the founder of Women of Denver, and I'm here chatting with Bree Maxwell, one of our members who is a professional stylist and wardrobe consultant. Bree, why don't we start by giving us a little intro and how the heck do you get into something so cool? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Crystal. Thanks for having me. Um, again, my name is Bree Maxwell with Bree Styles. I'm a women's personal stylist and wardrobe consultant. And really, I started doing this because of my own frustrations with finding clothes that fit and flatter my body. So you can't tell, but I'm quite tall and all my height is in my torso. So it makes it very difficult to find shirts that are long enough, arms that are long enough, et cetera, et cetera. So really I have been 5'11 since I was 11 years old. And so if you can Whoa. imagine being a little girl at 11 years old, 5'11, you can't fit into like the cute Abercrombie and Fitch stuff all my little girlfriends were wearing. So I had to get really creative, really young thrift stores. My mom made a bunch of my clothes. Um, I had to wear men's clothes a lot of times just to get things that would fit. So that really was the origin of like my love of style and my love of being creative and ended up in a career path that had nothing to do with style. So I went into corporate healthcare, oh. but noticed that I really wanted to push the boundaries of that corporate dress code. So yes, I was wearing business suits, but I would wear polka dot shoes or a striped scarf or just something fun, trying to get those elements of my personal style into that kind of strict dress code. Yeah. And through that, really realized that that is my market. So many of us professional women, you know, want to look professional, um, I want to look put together, but still want to show elements of ourselves through our image and our style. So that is how Brie Styles was born. Awesome. Yeah, I can't imagine being 5'11". When I was in school, I thought 5'7 was, you know, I'm like 5'7 and a half, and I couldn't find pants. It was, you know, they look like high waters on me, or I, I learned to get to once those like boot not boot cut, but once the like tighter leg pants started getting in, in style, I could buy those and wear them short and fold them up. And it looked like it was on purpose or capri pants and stuff like that, at least during the, the warmer months. But I could never like my younger sister, she's like five, two, and she had all the coolest pants. It was like all the designs and the like, the glitter on the butt and stuff like that. <laughs> I was like, I want my butt to say something too. <laughs> I used well, to, I, I used to go to Joanne Fabrics and buy the imprints to like put the the, the diamonds on the butt. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes. So, but I can't imagine being your your height. And that was actually really clever of you to go to the men's because they have longer pants. Longer pants. Yes. Yeah. Nice. So one of the messages that I really appreciate that you share is that um, everyone can, you know, work with a stylist. And a lot of times people look at that, you know, I looked at it a long time ago. I looked at it as something that only, you know, really famous people do when they have like some stage event or something like that to do. And then I started meeting, I only know a couple stylists, but I started meeting people and one day went to the mall. I don't even know. I guess it was a She's giving a free consultation, just kind of like building her reputation. But there's a stylist here that I had the chance to just walk through the mall with. And I was like, this is the best trip to the mall I have ever had. She just brought me things and everything that she brought me was like something I wouldn't have thought of, but somehow worked with the things she put it with. I was like, everybody needs to experience this. <laughs> so tell me about, you know, how did you come up, come to to that perspective and what do you really mean as far as like, how do you, what do you mean when you say everybody can work with a stylist? Like what would be a point that you should say, I should consider this? Yeah, so really I work with a lot of women going through some kind of transition, a job transition, um, weight loss or gain, um, new baby, 
um, divorce, breakup, dating profiles, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So really the perfect time to work with a stylist is during a transition of some sort. If you're moving or, um, you know, going on a long vacation, don't we all wish right now? Yeah. Um, so it's really a lot of my clients are those gals who are just something in their life is triggering them to really rethink their image and how they present themselves into the world. Yeah. Um, when I say, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I just thought that was brilliant. That's just, that's so oh. different than what I really thought of. When you think of, when I think of it, like I said, I think of celebrities and stage performances, but that makes sense. It's like, it's, have you ever, have you ever watched the show? Um, uh, oh gosh, I can't even think of what it's called. It was one of those makeover shows and it had um, somebody named London and like, she, oh, Stacey. What London. not to wear. Yeah, what yeah. not to wear. I was obsessed with it, but a lot of those people were going through transitions. Like they had, you know, they were going through, they had gained weight, but they weren't accepting it. So all their clothes weren't fitting or something like that, or, you know, they had lost themselves to, you know, they had a child and they started um, forgetting about their own clothes and only bought clothes for the kids, things like that. And those stories would resonate. And I never really made that connection. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And when I say really anyone can work with a stylist, you know, there are certain stylists out there. They only work with celebrities or they only work with certain brands me and my mission, because I am a normal gal, I want to work with other normal gals um, within, you know, your lifestyle, um, your style. Of course, I'm going to push your boundaries a little bit. Um, and also your budget. I think that's very important. Um, you don't have to be rich and famous to work with a stylist. You can work with any budget. Um, I can work with you finding one piece or finding a thousand pieces. It's really up to you. And it's my job to be flexible within those criteria for you. Awesome. So what's your favorite must have item that everybody needs right now in this, you know, <laughs> pandemic, you see only the top of your world. <laughs> so the one piece I think every gal needs right now is what is called the house dress. So you're like thinking back to the 50s and all these housewives wearing moo's. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a more streamlined, updated version of just a simple, easy dress that you can throw on. You feel like you're in pajamas, but you look a lot more elevated. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I had, I actually bought a few of those this summer because I was like, I look like a bum every day. <laughs> need to get it together and I had gained my COVID-19 pounds and so I bought some simple dresses that they looked it looked like I was trying so yeah. while I just just grabbed something and threw it on out of the wash it looked like I wasn't just you know throwing on some sweat <laughs> so yeah one and done this, right one and done. <laughs> right. No need to pick pick and pair or any of that stuff. Just simply. Right. Yep. No one's wearing pants now anyways. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, and the best ones are the ones that don't require the, the extra straps underneath, if you know what I mean. It's like they just, they just, look, yes, just don't look, they don't look bad. You know, you, you can't tell there's nothing under there, but just like make it simple. <laughs> Make it <laughs> totally. Totally. so. Tell people how they can get in touch, follow you, or learn how they can work with you. Absolutely. So my website is breestyles.com. It's B-R-I-S-T-Y-L-E-S. So say what you do, breestyles.com. Um, and you can also follow my Instagram. It's at Breestyles Denver uh, or my Facebook at Breestyles Denver. Awesome. Thank you for all that. I'll link it as well. Thanks for taking the time to chat and tell yeah. our um, women of Denver community a little bit about you. Thanks, Crystal.